The tongue, often deemed the mightiest force within us, stands as a formidable weapon, unmatched in its ability to inflict profound wounds upon the soul. Unlike a sword, lacking bones, it possesses an uncanny strength, capable of shattering hearts. Its potency lies not in physical harm, but in the profound impact on emotions and actions, a catalyst for hatred and even the inception of wars. In the profound wisdom inscribed, death and life are in the power of the tongue. The gravity of spoken and written words is underscored. Every verbal or written expression, whether conscious or not, weaves an enchantment, triggering emotions and actions. Hence, the tongue emerges not merely as a means of communication, but as a tool that can cast spells, shaping the destinies of individuals and societies alike. I want to share a powerful manifestation technique with you that has worked wonders for many, and I'm confident it can work for you too. It's a simple yet highly effective method that only takes about 30 seconds of your time. Before diving into the technique, let me tell you a story from Neville Goddard's book, The Law and the Promise. It illustrates how this technique transformed the life of a woman facing financial struggles. This lady was in a tough phase, searching for jobs without success and struggling to make ends meet. She dreamt of buying a car, but couldn't due to unemployment. Then she discovered Neville Goddard's technique, and by applying it, her life completely changed. Now let's get into the technique. Instead of dwelling on lack and imagining what you don't have, focus on these three powerful words. Give it a try and see the positive shifts it can bring to your life. I focused on the feeling that something amazing was happening to me, not in the future, but right at that moment. Every night for two months, I repeated three magic words to myself as I fell asleep. In early October, a casual friend I hadn't seen for months mentioned he was going to New York. We chatted briefly about the city, and a month later, he surprised me with a certified check when he visited my apartment. The manifestation had worked, bringing the unexpected financial relief I needed. The lady manifested a remarkable $25,000 check using Neville Goddard's technique. It's a fascinating story of how a friend, connected to a wealthy acquaintance from her past in New York, handed her the check. This wealthy individual, without ever meeting her again, decided to support her as an artist, putting her in his will. Consequently, she received monthly checks of $25,000 for life. This technique, based on Neville Goddard's three-word method, transformed her life dramatically. She attributes all the positive changes to these three words. Isn't it wonderful? This phrase, highlighted by Neville Goddard in his book, The Law and the Promise, encourages contemplating and attracting the things one desires in life. As you practice Neville Goddard's Isn't It Wonderful technique, visualize and voice your desires. Embrace the joy of imagining what you want in life. Dive into the emotions associated with your desires, because that's where the magic happens. Focus on the feeling of accomplishment you'll experience when your desires are fulfilled. That's your ultimate goal in manifesting with these three words. So, when you're envisioning, just live in that moment. Don't worry about the how or the steps. Simply revel in the positive feelings, because that's what truly feels good during the manifestation process. Focus on the magic around you the energy that can lead you to your desires. Don't overthink the how, when, and why. Simply believe in the present magic. Like the lady who transformed her life, visualize your desires every night before bed. Envision being the person you aspire to be. Say, isn't it wonderful? And feel the joy. This technique, 
as outlined by Neville Goddard in The Law and the Promise, can be done in the morning too, but the power lies in being present and positive in your desires. Neville Goddard often recommends practicing this technique before bedtime, capitalizing on the power of our subconscious mind during sleep. The effectiveness lies in letting positive thoughts flow freely, akin to a continuous river. As you drift into sleep, envision your desires without allowing negative thoughts, represented as rocks and dams, to hinder the flow. Don't dwell on negative beliefs. Instead, focus on the positive emotions and thoughts that can persist throughout the night, making the technique more potent. Release the hold of negative beliefs like rocks and dams. Let your thoughts flow freely like a river. Take deep breaths and repeat, Isn't it wonderful? Until you feel an overwhelming sensation. In this heightened state, visualize your desired outcomes vividly. Immerse yourself in the moment and say, Isn't it wonderful? As you drift off to sleep. Commit to this practice for 30 days and witness the transformative results. This technique has proven powerful for many, leading to significant lifestyle changes. Try it and see the impact for yourself. After adopting the practice of saying, isn't it wonderful, shift your mindset towards gratitude. For instance, if you're navigating a challenging period in the real estate industry, Envision yourself as the agent who attracts ideal clients effortlessly. Picture a scenario where willing sellers and eager buyers gravitate towards you, finding their dream homes seamlessly. Be the agent who acts like a magnet, effortlessly bringing everything into perfect alignment. Embrace this vision with gratitude, recognizing that a grateful mindset can play a pivotal role in attracting positive outcomes, even in challenging times. While I don't have personal experiences, I encourage you to try the technique and share your thoughts in the comments. Your experiences can inspire and help others on their journey. Give it a go and contribute to the community discussion. This we have come to the end of this video. If you have come this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, press that like button down below and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even